we doing? I'm going to London Bridge Music Studio, London Bridge Studios. They recorded a couple of records there. I think they did Ten by Pearl Jam, Dirt by Alice in Chains, just to name a few. And Mike Klink, he's a producer, engineer, is going to be there. He produced one of the most underrated metal albums of all time, Rest in Peace. I don't care what you think about Dave Mustaine and his nonsense, but that record is sweet, polished metal. He also did Appetite for Destruction. That sold a couple copies as well. You think there'll be a Q&A? Yes. They're serving beer there. You just, it's, just, it's very casual, then they have the thing, and then everybody just kind of sits around and BSs and schmoozes. And I see. I'm going to ask gives Mike. He, everybody I wanna, gives each other an old-fashioned. I want to ask Mike uh, about his challenges of mixing live music as opposed to studio music. Uh, uh, I think that's a good question. Yes. Makes me sound smart. <laughs> Is that Sean? Yeah. Oh, shit. Huh. You got a pass to park there? No, buddy. This do is I need like, a pass? You do, man. It's special. This is special Special's parking. Spot? Special. Well, this is where they told me to park, man. I'm just doing what they told me to do. Sean, Sean Enright, what do you expect to learn here tonight? I don't know, some good mixing tips, some good recording tips. Okay. Yeah. Apparently they have headphone stations that you can do your own mix while they're doing some tracking. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Right. Let's check this all out. I like it. So get, go, go get checked in. Hurry right, up. Gonna, gonna Hurry up. Yeah. Your name again? Omar? Omar, Omar Schombacher. Omar Schombacher. And you're playing in a band here tonight at this event? Yeah, playing with Star Anna. Mike Klink producing. Uh, it's uh, kind of a gala summit for uh, engineers and audio producers here at uh, London Bridge Studios. So how'd you get that? Um, I play in the group with Star Anna, uh, play guitar, and uh -huh. I've known her for quite some time. And, uh -huh. uh, she's an excellent singer and performer and songwriter. Sweet. You guys got some music up online somewhere? Um, she does. Yeah, she's been touring her ass off for some time, uh, um, and she's got several records. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you know Kyle? Uh, Kyle produced my old old band I Sunday Night Blackout. Well, I we made recorded. a demo and I tried yeah. to fix it. This is back when I did it. Yeah. Well, and I recall and I remember hanging out his presence and everything, but I don't remember what we did. But we were pretty drunk. <laughs> I think I, was I feel like it lost a decade. So this thing here tonight is Mike Clink. He's gonna be recording you guys. Correct. Yeah. Man, how do you feel about that? That's uh, pretty cool. I'm totally utterly enthused, and he's a, such a sweet guy, and uh, he's one of my heroes because Guns N' Roses is a huge. Uh, band since I was 10 for me and uh, and I couldn't believe it yeah so it's really good yep. awesome man I'm excited to see it yeah that's gonna be cool and uh, if I can also play my I, my own stuff is called great spiders I have a great really, spiders yeah that's that's my solo stuff I'm just now popping some uh, YouTube videos out and some singles uh, there's a single called Bailey uh, that I wrote recently. So if we look for great spiders on YouTube, we'll find it? Maybe, yeah. Try well, but, cool, yeah. man. Thank you. Band, so this guy, no, Omar, were. what about him? He's the guitar player in that band. No, but you were saying about his music? Oh, they're really good. He was an amazing guitar. I knew he was a great guitar player back then. He's a great guitar player. Just very original music. Check him out. Man. Great yeah. spiders. We can start working on this one. What was that? This right there is freaking epic. I don't know who that band is, but I want to meet them. Oh. What do you want to say about that? No, the Ampeg micro. That is the micro. I know, but what's special about it? It's, it's, it's an amazing color. loop. No, what's special about it is it, it, it was it's in the studio that it we was, do everything. It's it what we use. Designed by a guy named Rob Riggs. Okay. He was an amazing engineer who worked his ass off to create an amp that sounded as close as possible to an actual tube amp in solid state. <laughs> Again, Rob Riggs, Ampeg, Class D amp, sounds like a tube amp. It's amazing. Nice. Inexpensive. It's as easy as sound like that. Whole studio is upstairs. They have a couple different. Omar's a freaking star. <laughs> he is. He's trying to hide from me, but yes. like, I he would. can't hide from me. I would. <laughs> you know how to play this song, right? Maybe. Okay. Normally we have a band playing here in this about 50. This looks like about 55, so it's a little bit different. But uh, no, this is such. It's going to be a really cool night. As you can see, we have a lot of little stations set up, and there's going to be a lot of interactivity tonight. 
Uh, feel free to walk around, ask questions, experience it, listen to the room, just have fun. Uh, my name is Jeff Ott. Um, we have star Anna here tonight. Woo! And her Woo! Star Anna. They're actually going to be playing live for us here. We're going to be recording it, and then that's when you can listen to stuff. We're going to play it back. We're going to do some overdubs. We're going to get into some mixing, um, use some lexicon plugins. So I think it's going to be really great and interactive. And the main guy that's running the show tonight is Mike Klink. Yeah. Thank you guys. I'm the only one who came up here. I didn't prepare anything. Usually I have notes prepared, but I thought I would just uh, wing it and, and talk about a, a couple different things. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to say it again. Thanks to everybody at Leonard Bridge and the staff here because they've been fantastic. And thank all of you guys for... Uh, coming out here tonight, I really appreciate it. You know, it's just fun to be in a facility like London Bridge that has a bit of history, and what makes it so great is that there's something very unique about coming to a room that has such a great sound. I mean, <clears throat> working in a lot of great studios, you learn that there are, are rooms that have a particular sound and that work really well. And when I came in here, it only took me about 10 seconds to go, this really works. This is a great sounding room. There wasn't a spot in here that uh, I knew couldn't work for the recording application. And I think we did things maybe a little bit differently than, uh, than what they would be doing if we weren't going to have an audience. <laughs> More importantly, right? He walked away. He's trying to get away from me. What it, oh, go. This is our uh, studio of the future. When are we moving into this place, Kyle? Apparently in 20 years when they're dead, they will set more guitar for yourself. Perfect. Good. I'm working on it. Tipsy Jazz song, he just, it was just, didn't quite have it, didn't quite understand it, because uh, the range was different, the way, the inflection, so, you know, he was learning by doing it, too, you know how that goes, where you, you do it, you hear it back, and you go, oh, that's what I was doing right, that's what I was doing wrong, so, uh, when people... King's over, we're going home now, we got free chips and margaritas. Did you learn anything? Oh, uh, it's all insider secrets, so I can't tell you. I learned that guacamole is not very good after about three hours. Three margaritas, huh? Three margaritas, huh? That's terrible. I'm not looking what I'm doing here at all. <laughs> 